All right, so here we are defining slide. Let's define it as this. Slide equals a GUI. Horizontal slider. It is another rectangle that sits within this box. And that rectangle sits 10 pixels in and then 140 pixels down. It's the same width, different height though. And this is going to be called slide. So now I defined it and it's negative region is 200 so that means that variable for speed equals 200 negative 200 and then I got 200 so from a sliding scale from negative 200 to 200 that's the speed of which this cube is going to rotate based upon a slider that I kind of uh, slide back and forth all right let's save this out let's see what happens Also, let's go in here, and make sure that one gets on this one. All right, so it's going to found speed and let's see, expecting, and you can, here's a good way to start debugging this. Um, I'm looking for something on line nine. Usually it defaults to line nine anyway. And I think it's having a hard time with the concept of these being so close. Also, needs a comma right there. All right, so I'm going to play this in Maximize on Play to see what happens. So I'm seeing no GUI interface at all. So there's something a little weird about the code. So let's see what's going on. And there it is. On GUI, not in GUI. Weird. There we go. So on GUI, this box stays still until I start tweaking this out. And now it rotates based upon that GUI interface. Very cool. You just got to watch your, when you first start out, or if you suck at typing like I do, you got to watch out um, upon little things. But that debugging, as long as you look at the bottom to find out what line went wrong, no problem whatsoever. Another thing, you should feel free to uh, explore this. So. Because I know as soon as somebody makes a GUI interface, they're like, wow, I wonder what else you can make with GUI. So if you go to the documentation section of unity3d.com and go to the reference manual and go to scripting and type and go to, well, first index, then GUI. Here's the GUI class, and here's everything that you can make with GUI. Box, button, label. And for each one of these, it does give you a pretty nice example. All right. So I just showed you how to run a variable based upon that, that GUI slider. And this variable changes right here. Okay. Well, enjoy, and then go on to the next video.